Hello everyone! Zack Nighthawk flying into this space once again with another episode of Pokemon Emerald! In the last episode, we discovered that Team Magma has obtained a meteorite! And they plan to harness its energy to awaken a powerful force that lies within Mount Chimney. And now we are on our way to foil their plans. See you guys when I get to Mauville City! So the reason why I came to Mauville City is... To exchange bikes, as you can only have one bike with you at a time. And given where I'm going, it's more convenient for me to use the acro bike. With the acro bike, you are able to traverse up mudslides and hop up onto ledges. Something you couldn't do with the mock bike. Speaking of which, I'd like to test out our new bike. and ride on our way to Mount Chimney. I, uh, I like how we just get off our bike in order to do Rock Smash and then get back on it. By the way, if you hold B while riding your bike, as you can see, you can do a standing wheelie or a bunny hop, depending on the situation. And, as you can see, Team Magma is no longer guarding the lift. Let's make our way up. The cable car is ready to go up. Would you like to be on it? Yes. Please step this way. Okay, so now we're at the top of Mount Chimney. As you can see, the two villainous teams are fighting one another with Puchienas. If they expand the land, there will be less habitats for water Pokémon! We're going to keep making more land! As you can see, they're obstructing the exit, so we can't go that way. We can only go up. And Archie's gotten himself in quite a predicament. Uh, Zack, I should have guessed you'd show up. See for yourself what the fanatics of Team Magma are up to. They're trying to inject the stolen meteorite's power into the volcano! Doing something like that will cause the volcano's eruption! You better not mess with us! We're trying to awaken that thing for the benefit of everyone! Not to mention that you'll be... swallowed up by lava and you'll instantly die. Meteorites pack amazing power! Didn't know science worked like that. That annoying Team Aqua, they're always messing with our plans! We're Team Magma! They're Team Aqua! It totally annoys me that they'd use a name like ours! We're Team Aqua! They're Team Magma! It burns me up that they'd use such a confusing name! Anyway around- ooh! Darn! Team Magma outnumbers us! We can't keep up with them! Yeah! Douse them in fire! <laughs> yeah! Let's murder the other team! Because that... That is murder! And we got a double battle on our hands, and I want to see if I have the right Pokémon out for this. Yep! Electrike and B-Wing! Just the Pokémon I wanted. We have Team Magmar working hard for everyone's sake! Like, if that thing's power made more land, there'd be more places to live! Everyone would be happy! If there were more land, I'd be able to get a big house of my own! I'm going to build it on hardened lava! That's if you could survive the eruption first. Magma Grunt and Magma Grunt want to battle. One sends out Zubat, the other sends out Nummel. Guess who Electrike will and won't be attacking? Just hoping I can knock out Nummel before it gets off an attack. Oh. Dubat should go down here, yes. Magnitude? Magnitude 6? Oh boy. 
Oof. Thank God that was anything... Thank God that was magnitude 6 and not anything higher than that. Quick attack and... Quick attack. <laughs> B-Wing's B -wing's faster, so... She gets to knock out... Nummel first. Or she's the one who gets to knock out Nummel, period. Huh? What do you mean I lost? I dream of a big house! Okay, so now that these two are out of the way... I want to heal up Electric. And now I'll take you up. <laughs> so you've come all the way here. But you're too late. I've already delivered the meteorite from Meteor Falls to the boss. So now we get to battle. Ooh, you look unique. Magma? Magma Admin Tabitha. And you have a Nummel. Great. You know what? Flipper, you take care of this one. That and you're really close to leveling up. Oh, come on. Well, at least I, at least I have Rost Berries to, to heal that burn. That's one out of four down. Flipper! Levels up. And next up is Puchiena. Well, Electrike, you're on the verge of something very special. All you gotta do is knock out this Puchiena. There we go. And Electrike has reached that very special level. What's next? An easier kill. Albeit a higher leveled one. And his last Pokemon is... Another Numble. You know what? I haven't used Echo in a while, so... You send her out to take on Nummel. Please don't get burned, thanks. Excellent. Player defeated Magma Admin Tabitha. <laughs> Even though I've lost... If our leader awakens that thing... What?! Electric is evolving! Congratulations! Your Electric evolved into Mainectric! <sighs> so good to use that. So good to use an. Uh, so good to use a main neck trick again. So pumped I can't even speak. Well, there's their leader. His name is Maxi. And before I battle him, can he use a Rostberry to heal up Flipper? Stop right there, criminal scum. The power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will intense will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater. And <laughs> Hmm? Who are you? I heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you he met. Hmm. 
So you think, so you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma. Now you listen, long ago living things used the land to live and grow. That is why all land is important. It is the cradle of all. Dude, I'm not sure if you've taken biology, but life began in the water and made its way onto land once it could adapt to land's conditions. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the landmass. It is for further advancement of humankind and Pokemon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. Oh, there was no need for you to learn that much. But no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in our grand design. We are taking on Magma Leader Maxi. And he will start with Mighty Anna. Enough of that for now. Maxi can be a bit of annoying. Can, can, can be a bit of an annoyance. He's the first trainer that we've come across that can, that is that can switch Pokemon in and out, and he also has two super potions on him. Yeah, I'm afraid he might be healing Mighty N or switching in another Pokemon. And I have a good guess on who that Pokemon is. Oh no! Oh no! Haha! <laughs> Even when I miss, I hit. Off to a good start. And next up, Zubat. This is probably his... This is probably the easiest Pokemon of his to defeat. Even with the... Even with Magnetric out there, knock Zubat out with one hit. I don't know how you could be the leader of a villainous team and have a Zubat. Shouldn't that thing be evolved by now? And his last Pokemon, and I'm switching out here... Camera out. Flipper, you were meant to knock things out like this. Magnitude 7. Please tank this. Very good. Water gun! That thing's quad weak to water. And it survived that. Well, at least its health is not low enough where Maxi can use a potion. He didn't even have to use any. Player defeated Magma Leader Maxi. What? I, Maxi, was caught off guard? What a cheap ass. He only gives me 2,000 Pokebucks. But enough. I will back off this time. But don't think that this is the last you've seen of Team Magma. <laughs> Even without the meteorite, if we obtain that orb. <laughs> Zack, thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Ah, it doesn't matter. We will, we will remain vigilant and keep up with our pursuit of Team Magma. Zack, we shall meet again. I don't know if I'd be looking forward to that if I were you. A meteorite is fitted on a mysterious machine. Do you want to remove the meteorite? Yeah! Yes, I would. And now we got the meteorite for ourselves. This mysterious machine and makes no response whatsoever. I guess we'll never know what it can do with the meteorite. Now that we have it all to ourselves. And now that all the villainous teams have left... Mount Chimney. We can now go down and... Who are you? Lava cookies are Mount Chimney's local specialty! Try one! It's just 200 Pokebooks! Sure thing. Thank you, dear! Obtain the lava cookie. I forget what that does. 
Lava Cookie, a local specialty that heals all status problems. Very nice item to have. It's basically, uh... A full heal, in a way. And now we're on the Jagged Pass. This is the place I wanted to... This is the place that, uh... I wanted to use the Acro Bike for. Because... You can't go up with any other method other than the Acro Bike. Mount Chimney's Jagged Pass. Now this is what I've always wanted in a mountain. This jagged bumpiness, it rocks my soul! And now that Maxi's out of the way, we can now battle the trainers on Jagged Pass. Hiker Eric has Geotude. And I will be switching out. Speaking of Pokemon I haven't used in a while, Reishi! It is your turn to take a magnitude six. <laughs> uh, I've gotten pretty lucky with magnitude so far. Critical? <laughs> well, that was no problem whatsoever. His second and last Pokemon is Altoy. Brown Psychic type. Very defensive. Or will become very defensive. One of my favorite Psychic type Pokemon, by the way. And if it wasn't for having two planned ground types on my team, spoiler alert, I would have wanted to use Baltoy. And it's Evolve Form Claydol. Losing left me bitter! Sorry. Well, now I want to take out the Acro Bike to show you... ...just what it can do. I can't skip up this place. Oh, shoot. Um, this is awkward. Anyway, <laughs> a team magma grunt got left behind. Huh? What are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is it of yours? And he'll battle us anyway. Eh, just a matter of forgetting. I'll figure it out at some point. Okay, so there is one new encounter that you can find on Jagged Pass. I mentioned earlier that you can find Spoik somewhere in the near future. This is where you find it. Should say, find it, because... They are male and female, Spoink. Spoink is a very defensive Pokemon. It knows some interesting moves. But the problem... Ah, I rushed that one. The problem with it is... When it comes to other Psychic types, especially in this game, it is... Outclassed. Especially by the aforementioned Baltoy and Claydol. And the Ralts family. There are definitely better Psychic types to use in this game. Ah, uh, look at you, Magnetric, leveling up after knocking out a Ground-type Pokémon. Uh, I should have ducked into our hideout right away! Hideout? Tell me more about this hideout. Oh, okay, I... Okay, okay, I admit it, you're strong! Don't worry about me! Go, where, go wherever you want! Eh, now that Magnetric is right where Flipper is, I want to switch a new Pokemon in the front. Echo, you take the lead. This place isn't your casual hike. It's not suited for a picnic.
What would you know about picnics, Diana? Well, you got a shroomish. You gotta be careful with... Careful with effect spore here. Oh, come on! Oh, this sucks. Um... You know what? Nah, strength. Keep doing it! Well, at least we didn't trigger effect spore. Next up is... Oddish! I know that's not how Oddish sounds. I'm saying Oddish to the sound of its, uh, game cry. Not the cry it makes in the anime. It's a lot more... Upbeat and higher pitched. Oddish! Yep. And our last Pokemon is Swablu. Okay. Show him, show him your strength one last time, Echo. Even for your defensive prowess, you couldn't avoid going down with. You couldn't go. You couldn't avoid going down with one strength. Strength attack. Oh no! The ground is too bumpy. Will you ever be back in this area? If you do return, I'd like a rematch. Now we register Diana in the Pokenav. Looks like we got a double battle up here. I climb this hill every day! I have confidence in my strength! Aye! It's awfully scary to shoot down the mountain in one go! Picnicker Autumn and Triathlete Julio! Autumn and Shroomish Julio, Magnet Magnet Mike! Strength on Magnemite and Wing Attack on Shroomish. Down goes Shroomish. Magnemite's going, not going down with that. <laughs> Sonic Boom. You're an Electric type. Attacking a Flying type. Jeez, man, really? I was able to knock out a, a part steel type Pokemon with just normal type moves. Echo grew to level 26. Autumn and Julio were defeated. Hmm, what went wrong? I feel like I'm falling apart. Now that they're out of the way, I want to collect this item right here. A burn heal! Could he use that when I, when, uh... Could he use that when, uh... When Flipper got burned? I think we got this one last trainer here, and I want to battle you with Reishi. Jagged Pass is hard to walk on. It's a good place for training. Camper Ethan has Zigzagoon. <laughs> I like, I like. Oh, I... Well, either way. Mock Punch would have been super effective, but Headbutt did the trick anyway. Hopefully it'll do the same to Talo. After it uses Quick Attack and subsequently gets marked. It was all over while we were still trying to find a... It was all over while we were still trying to find a good footing. 
When I get more used to this bumpiness, I'll be sure to win! Can you register me in your Pokémon app? Yeah, sure, but that doesn't mean you're gonna beat me again. And now, the Bomba Jagged Pass takes us to Route 112, the part of Route 112 that we couldn't access before because of the ledges. And now... We are in Lava Ridge Town. Home to the fourth gym on our journey. We got a whole town to explore. Not much, but next time on Pokemon Emerald, we will explore Lava Ridge Town and challenge the fourth gym. Yes, I'm going to do that in the next episode. Zack Nighthawk, flying out.